Good morning, my name is Pam Sherman. I'm a trainer of 23 years. I'm gonna do a quick at-home workout using the slam ball. Now, if you don't have a slam ball, you can absolutely use a jug of water or a dumbbell, whatever works best for you. We're gonna put it to the side for now. We're gonna warm up by doing little tiny reverse lunges, so not a full lunge. We're gonna step back and bend down just a little bit to get that body warmed up. Now, you can take a little bit bigger step and just come back a little bit. There you go, body's nice and tall, and you're breathing. We will not do 800, don't worry. We might do 500 today though. No, this is a five minute workout, so we will definitely not do that many. We're gonna do two more. One more, okay. Now we used to reach up and reach up, warming up that core. Reach, 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 excellent. The core works in every exercise that we do, so I wanna make sure we get it warmed up before we get started. We'll go four more. Three, two, and one. A bit reverse lunge again. Excellent. Going just a little bit back, not too far back. And know that a lunge is a balance exercise, so if you whip, wiggle, and wobble, totally normal. And just so you know, one side is better balanced than the other always. We're going to do one more knee side warm-up. Almost done. Okay, back to the reach. Here we go. Reach up, reach, reach. You're in a, like a half squat, a mini squat. A lot of times when you lock up your legs, you might feel it in your low back. So I always want to keep a little tiny bend. We got four more. Three, two, and one. Now let's pick up that ball. We're going to hold it at chest level. We're doing a full body lunge, which means we engage our core. Okay, we're gonna stand on one side. Come on down and bring it up. Now, if you are a beginner exerciser, you don't need the ball, the ball or the weight. Your body weight is gonna be enough. We're going a little bit lower than we did in the warm up. We're gonna go four more and then we're gonna switch sides. How's that standing leg feel? Oh, one more. Okay, let's switch right here. Take a step back. And I want you to think about, if you can see yourself, I don't think you, maybe you can. Your toes always facing front, never to the side. Heel is straight up. We're gonna do two more. Let's switch sides, because we can. I know it's challenging, but guess what? Breathe through it. This is a quick video. I know you can handle anything for a few seconds. We're gonna do three more right here. Here's three. Stay nice and tall, keep that core tight. One more. Okay, let's switch. Excellent. How are you feeling? Hanging in there? Almost done. We're gonna do three. We're gonna do one more. Come up and shake it out. Now we do a mini squat. We're gonna curl. Press up and come back. Amazing core work right here. Anytime you lift anything over your head, holy moly, that engages the core. Now your quads might also be on fire because we just did lunges. Breathe through it, you got this. We got four more, come on. Here's three, two more, here's two. Last one right here. Now, speaking of balance, you're gonna hold your weight in one hand, lift your other leg up. I wanna bend that standing leg. Arm can be here, it can be here. I want you to kick front and kick back. Now, if this is too much, you can stay right here and you can tap down when you need to. So we start here, then lift it up and then kick out. What does the weight do? Oh, it makes it harder. Just form more like that got this. There's three, two, one. Let's shake it out and switch. A little bend in that knee. So start here. If this is where all you can be, that is fine. Next step is up. Next step is kicking out. Every time you kick out, oh my gosh, keep that core nice and tight and keep breathing. Uh, amazing core work. Here's four more. There's three, 
two, last one right here. Okay, now I want that half roll squat, a little curl and press and breathe. We're gonna do each of these one more time and that will be it for this video. Give me four more just like that. Core is tight, especially as you press overhead. Three, come on, you got this. Two more, here's two, one more. All right, here's a balance. Hold that ball. Sorry, same like little bit in that leg. You're gonna start here. If you feel comfortable, come up here. If you feel comfortable, kick it out. If you really wanna challenge yourself, you can raise that arm a little bit higher. As you raise it higher, that balance gets a little bit harder. We got three more just like that. Here's three, two, nice work. One more, shake it out and let's switch sides. A little tiny bend in that same leg. Remember, you're starting here. If you're comfortable, bring it up a little bit. If you're comfortable up here. Here we go. Now up to you, if you feel confident, like I got this, Lift that arm up a little bit more. A little core challenge. How are you doing today? We're gonna do three more just like that. Here's three, two, one. And that is it for today. Thank you so much for your time. I hope to see you again soon.